open this gate. So, Dmitri, how to chase the wind? I mean, can you explain a little bit what you are doing uh, with kite surfing? And we just start from here. What you are doing? What is your experience? How you started? Um, just shortly. My experience, uh, I'm kite surfing myself in Denmark. I start in Denmark. Mm. So from 2009, uh, how I do that, I just walk uh, um, on the Roskilde Fjord. It's mm. a really beautiful place, just enjoy weather. And uh, one windy day, I just saw people in the water mm. and they sailing. Left, how, right. how windy it needs to be to get like perfect or the, at least good enough uh, the wind should be around from six meter per second and between 12 it's safe wind for beginner mm. for example but experienced guy they can do that 15 meter per second and more like 18 and in denmark it's no yes, problem with no that. problem it is super <laughs> it's windy, windy yes so it's windy it's actually All one season. one of the things I don't like about Denmark. It's been yes, but in your in your situation, yeah. you probably yes. love it. People were also joking. If it's no wind, it's still windy. Yeah, exactly. It's always like it's always some some wind yes. here because of yeah climate. And yeah, yeah. So how often do you do or um, uh, how often do you kite? Do you have a season or? A yes, kind actually, of? we start from April months and to October months, but depends weather. Mm -hmm. If it's really warm weather, sometimes we can do that to November months. Oh, Actually, okay. people, experienced guys, they ride in Denmark all season, in the winter time also. So if you have really nice. good wetsuit, like 6.5 millimeter, you can do that all season. Oh, no but problem. six millimeters kind of thick enough yes, to... Yes, yes. Oh, so okay. it's not a problem. I didn't that. Is it expensive? I mean, uh... Uh, depends. So you can find the cheap one. Like people look uh, second hand, for example, if they beginners. But most of the shop right now they have really good deal for kite surfing stuff. Mm. So it depends how much you it's spend not, money. Not, not yes. horrible. I yes. Mean, yes. Can can afford. So you said you started in. Uh, 2009 yes in right. Denmark yeah many years ago and uh, what was the reason or how you started I mean how you, you the reason is uh, actually I training all my life like basketball martial arts people also martial ask, arts yeah, well. martial arts oh, like okay. Aikido so I need uh, to choose words yes. when I talk to okay yes so I do that also in Denmark and one day I just uh, just saw that kite, kite surfing guys when they jumping and make a trick I just say myself why not because it's oh. it's everywhere water in Denmark so it's actually a good choice to do something in like water water sport and it's a good cardio I suppose yes it's really good cardio have I you really tried to measure how many mm. calories you no use but per I hour can or? I can say really it's a good fitness and I recommend for my begin uh, for uh, students mm -hmm. it's really good cardio for all body so it's like uh, abs legs it's back, like, like swimming right yes I mean. yes everything it's good cardio really when you stay in the water like three four hours three four hours yes non-stop oh so it's you also a kind of endurance yes, training yes yes cool and uh, you have a school, right? Yes. For how long and how you did the school or... Uh, I don't I, know. I opened my school from 2018 in Denmark. So I have IKO license. So it's international Metal. one. Yeah, you can see on that flag. And from 2021, from that year, we opened first international school in Denmark. Oh, nice. Yes. Because most of the school have local license, Scand Scandinavian. Some of them also work by IQ license instructor. Mm -hmm. And we open first school. So it's really good opportunity True. for people, for example, who is thinking to be more professional, like assistant mm -hmm. or instructor. So we can prepare people in the future. 
Okay. To and be can instructor. You, basically, you can instruct future no, instructors or what? No, not me. I uh, we have levels, some special levels mm -hmm. in the IQ system. Just so like. Uh, Karate or whatever, mm -hmm. black yeah, belt, yes. purple belt. You need or... to be first assistant after after you have first level, second, third. Mm -hmm. So you can be a coach, mm -hmm. assistant uh, trainer, also examiner. So examiner, it's the highest one of the highest level. So you can mm -hmm. prepare instructor if you are examiner. And what you need to do? You just uh, have exams all the time to, yes. to climb the... Yeah, you climb, yes, because uh, when you train student, all students write feedback about you like instructor, so mm -hmm. you also grow up. No, oh, okay. And as a, I don't know, as a human being, what kind of... what, How, how you need to be or who you need to be to get good at it as an instructor, because like you are teaching, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. And yes. not everyone yes. can do that. I mean, I probably couldn't, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. The, I understand the question. So we discuss about that actually. Yeah, you need to be human, be, you need to like work with people. But most important thing, uh, you need to see the mistakes. It's most important to see mistakes. Mm -hmm. But it's harder to see mistake or it's harder to tell, like, look here, yeah, you are making uh, I a mistake. I think from my experience, actually... Because some people hesitating yes, to, yes, to tell. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think it's difficult to see that mistakes, but it's come by experience. Mm -hmm. But when I start work myself with students, with first students, everybody give it to me feedback. So I'm so like, you are really good on that. So I push myself harder. Because people give it every time it's feedback, important. yeah, they push me all the time, they just tell okay. me, you're really good on that. You know, when we were talking last time, I, I just felt <coughs> somehow that you you can just see that you love it. I mean, yes. it's really it's hard to, passion. to yes. translate, yes. but yes. Yes. I see when people love yeah. what we are doing and probably with... It, it helps a lot, yes, right? Yes, I saw also people who enjoy uh, them work. For example, you can look on the mm. eyes, they smile, it just exactly. comes from your heart. So maybe, exactly. yeah, so maybe that reason I every time motivate each of my students and they feel that. Because uh, they also tell me, yeah, you're really good. Yes, you push me. Because uh, maybe it's from my also past, you know, I don't get that. Uh, from my parents, for example, mm. when I need that, because I'm training all my all Could my be. life, and I miss that. Nobody push me, so why no. I push my student right now? And I do that hard because I know it's really important uh, motivate people. Because uh, most of the people they don't trust themselves, so but, it's really important. But look, motivation it yeah. should be both ways, right? I mean, mm. you should say that come on if you do this and that mm. you can be like him or yes, whatever you can yes. be better but it also on uh, on the flip side mm -hmm. you always uh, like you said you need to like motivate by demotivating them mm. i mean you need to say you did it wrong and how's uh, that's how you do it yeah so what what i mean is well, Sometimes to motivate, you need to demotivate, right? You need to see yeah. mistakes and, yes. and tell them. Yes, yes. It's, and for it's some work. people, it's it really hard. hard. Yeah, it is hard because people also say, okay, I don't need to go to the school. My friends uh, learn me. But okay, but how they learn? And they have knowledge for that. When you have kite surfing experience, when you riding mm -hmm. all your life and when you teach pe people, it's big different. Yeah, of course, just in every situation, right? Yes. But I think that you could probably, like everything else, supplement. You know, you go to school, like we just had one podcast about uh, universities and how you need to supplement or could supplement with books, videos, yes. whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. other materials. So maybe here it could be the same, you know? Yeah, you go I, to school, you learn kiting, yes. and then you maybe, I don't know, watch YouTube. For example, if I'm yeah. going to, to learn to swim, right? Yes. I'm going to school, but after school I can watch on YouTube videos how to do this, how to yes. do that, the biggest 10 mistakes, whatever, you know? It's, 
if you learn yourself, for example, if you're watching video, if, mm -hmm. if you can analyze yourself, it's okay. You can learn maybe. But anyway, when you do some technical skills, mm -hmm. anyway, it should be stay somewhere from the corner and observe. So you need to see that mistakes, how you can yeah, do that uh, yourself, for example. Yeah, but I mean, when when you learn not into practice, but just the theory, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. So let's say if I'm learning to swim. Yes. And you my, or okay, kiting, you yeah. are kite instructor. Yeah. So you will learn me on the place what yes. and how to do yeah. that. But after that, I could supplement this learning by reading about kiting no? yeah. to, to understand yes. better the sport and everything yeah. i could probably find some youtube yeah. videos yeah how to kite what yes. to do what to not to do and i can see not my mistakes but i can see them doing yes. mistakes or showing mistakes so th that reason probably like you could do yeah i can some, explain some, also some videos. yes i also explain every time from my writing experience also from teaching experience every time mm -hmm. say for example if you do that way it's your mistake and why it's mistake we talk all about all of that things it's not only like you tell something and that's it you need to explain why because mm -hmm. people also get different message you know where are different so for you maybe it's easier to yeah, read something. Yes. For yeah. me, for me, I'm watching video. I can learn like that. For the third person, you need to touch and try yourself. So we are different. So I need to also f find different channel. Think, yeah, yeah, sure. But I think we need all channels. Just maybe some equalization of these yeah. channels, maybe yes. different. Yes. But yeah, you're right. You need both see to touch to feel and so it's most hard thing when you're instructor to find that key because mm. some of uh, students they tell me I need more time you know to observe to do something uh, some guys or girls they do that faster I just explained that that's it they learn very fast but everywhere right I mean yes, some it's everywhere like that some things I can learn fast some things yes, I'm yes. Maybe so like slower. I say you need to find the right key that's it but do you need some how to say some mindset for kiting I mean I, I will try to explain I was starting as I told you just before yeah. uh, corona uh, di to learn diving yeah diving yes and in diving is very important that just before diving, uh, just before diving in, you need to be stiff enough to get in, mm. but relaxed yes. under the water enough yes. so you don't use too much oxygen. Because you yes. know when you stress, yes. you're stressing. Yes. You're using oxygen and you cannot be underwater. Yes. Same in kite surfing. Unless like yes. ah, you need yes. to find this. Yes. Same in kite surfing. When I see people, with first what we do, I just uh, talk with people. So it's new sport for you. How you feeling? Mm. I need to observe person because some, for example, uh, ladies, most of them stressing because they think in wrong way. It's very really dangerous. Mm -hmm. How I can learn? But so it is dangerous. It's, yeah, it's I mean, look dangerous. But if you know what to do, so it's it's simple. Makes it's sense. It's technical skills. It's no like most, car, you know. Yes, it's dangerous. Most but of the people they drive. just yeah they they thinking okay it's where you need to be really powerful. No, it's technique. That's it. It's so like you mean you bike. don't need no and to be strong yes and most most of the students they when they feel stress mm -hmm. i feel that on the arm on the body you know they overstretch we, on tension all yeah. the time so they don't feel that bar steering for okay. example and i every time explain just relax your arm you need to be on relax all the time it's like shooting right i mean yes yeah, just you and, need you, to and you feel catch the moment yes. so you have that feeling yeah, makes sense. Same like you tell me with diving, so you need to relax. And you probably, <clears throat> I don't know, need to have some brain muscle connection. Yes. Right? Like yes. in a gym, for example, yes. if you train biceps, we you need call, to feel it. Yes, we and call that uh, memory muscle. Uh -huh. So, but you need time for that. So, you, just like in yeah, just, else, right? Yes, yeah. just learn, learn more practice, and that's it. How how often you, for example, how often you practice? 
I mean, every weekend or uh, twice practice, a day, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I practice myself when it's wind. If it's windy, I always always in the water. Yes, if it's windy. Okay. On average, how many hours a month do you do? Yeah, uh, it's difficult to say. Or a per, year. Per, I mean, per week, for example, if it's windy, like three, four if times it's okay, per, let's per even, week. Yeah. I do that like three, four hours, so it's like maybe 12 uh, hours a per week. week a wow, week, yes. that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. And you're still improving. I mean, still yes, learning. I'm enjoy. I learn new tricks in kite surfing. We have also new stuff. No, so it's okay. grow up all always. But kite you surfing. feel like you more playing and enjoying, or you are more training and working. You right know, now, to the gym yes, people, understand. some people are yes. saying, I'm going to relax yes. or do blah, blah, blah. And some just, just I'm just working out, you know, just, yes. just give it. So right now I'm more What's maybe training. Case? I'm focused on new tricks, for mm -hmm. example, because when I instruct people, I need to show something new. So I push myself always. And like I say, we have new equipment. So it's not just fun. I mean, no, sometimes it's, it's just a hard, uh, hard yeah, work. Yeah, it's hard work, yes. You know, this... Uh, guy named David Goggins mm, he's no. like ultra marathon runner and okay. he was a Navy SEALs whatever and he, he's like really into it you know running mm. ultra marathons yeah. is not, not the easiest thing and you need to train a lot and he said like sometimes I look at the running shoes for half an hour just to put them <laughs> on you know because it's not not every yes. not every time fun. I mean, you need to be disciplined. You need yes. to. So why I like sport? You need to be disciplined. In every, I, I think yes. more or less in yes. every sport. So why it's wonderful, like different kind of sport. Is it very discipline. exhausting sport? I mean, when you kite for two three hours, you feel like ugh, dead or or what? Yeah. No, you feel tired after. I mean, you need to be fit, right? To yes. Some, at least some level fit. Yes, but you're tired, but uh, you you feel anyway energy after lesson. Everybody, if you go on the sport, kite surfing sport, yeah, you get the matter. dopamine at the end, right? Yeah, I people mean. smiles, people talk. It's uh, that it's really um, good feeling. But after every sport, this feeling is good. Right? Yes, I mean, yes, yes. Just maybe here is more fun because it's changing a lot anyway every day i say every time also it's experience you get experience every day doesn't matter you made some new trick or not anyway but you, you it's, don't it's get experience. bored i mean no 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 in that sport doesn't matter which sport i think if you want to grow up you every time can find something new in each sport it depends probably but i think you in many times you probably reach some point yes. where it's really hard you know this learning curve yeah. when you learn first 80 percent okay fast and then you have the rest of your life to manage with 20 percent because if you look so, if you look at each sport for example pro every yeah. everywhere you can find the pro uh, like pro rider for example in kite surfing are and you also pro? I, I I don't know. People say to me I'm pro, but I I don't. But I, what you need to I do to be pro, you need to go to some kind of competitions you have, or yes, how it is. most of the pro they go to competitions. Oh. So yes, I will say like that. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm more focused on teaching, but not on like okay. on the trick. And how we decide who who is good in in, in kiting, who kite surfing, who is not? I mean, judges. You see five guys doing the mm. same tricks, who's better? I mean, is it like bodybuilding? I, I don't think it's the bad if he's enjoying What you like more? I think or, it's uh, if you enjoy that, that's it. I don't think it's... You never be the best. Every time it's come some guys or something women, that, yeah. I don't know, they beat you, so I don't yeah, think... Yeah, but I mean, what you need to do to win the competition? I mean, you need to jump higher or you need to stay longer on the board or... Wh yeah, we have what different... What are the kind, rules if yeah, you want to Yeah, we have different compete. kind of competition. We have uh, race, for example, uh -huh. free uh, jump. Uh, we have also competition, big air in Cape Town. 
it's a world competition when mm -hmm. guys jumping like 30 meters 30 fucking meters yeah 30 meters or oh maybe God. higher make it some tricks oh my because God. back in the days people only jumping really high right now they meters yes but right now they dangerous. jump yes but they right now jump 30 meter and they make it some tricks dangerous tricks insane and a little uh, bit insane yes and when you catch gust you can fly also 100 meter downwind so it's really long wow. distance if you catch good gust you just land down 100 meter wow some guys do that so it could be as a stress relief right i mean yes it's a lot of adrenaline but but uh, you know if you get if you get <laughs> enough adrenaline on something what you yeah. are doing i think you get less adrenaline it's maybe a little bit paradoxical but you guess you 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 get less anxious in the real world you yes. know because you yeah the people who is trained uh, for example from my experience yes i'm also you use your I, energy yes, right yes, i need always energy to use somewhere so if you observe little kids if uh, they have a lot of energy some exactly. uh, some parents say yeah we need to find for him or for her like uh, basketball training something to do. yeah running or something to do yes to put that energy all my life i also training in, like martial arts basketball so i also try to put that energy so remember me not to fight with you but uh, yes <laughs> but uh, how old you need to be when you say kids i just what how old actually you need in to be? kite surfing uh, kids sometimes start from six years really old. yes we have do, right do you now have some kids kites or, or what? yeah they're really small kites back in the days actually we recommend from 12 years old from 12 wow. years old and should be 30 kilo minimum weight because mm -hmm. we also choose but a kite with a normal kite or a yeah, kids kite no we what? have different uh, kites for example for kids you can use uh, four squadron meter five the smallest one mm -hmm. but it's four, also five. and the normal one is 10 12 something we don't say like normal it depends wind mm -hmm. and uh, rider weight so it depends. Ah, also so we have different okay. size. Makes so sense. Yes. So it depends your size. So which size, for example, you are using? I use, I'm 95 kilos. So I use 12, 8, 10 and 14 square wow. meter different. Depending on, on the wind. wind. Yes. If it's slow wind, I choose bigger kite. If it's uh, strong wind, I choose Small. smallest okay. kite. Yes. Makes sense. And uh, do you sometimes change these? Uh, I mean, in the same day you change two or three kites or I don't know. No, actually if it's really good weather, if it's stable you wind. You take one. Yeah, only one. But we have weather sometimes when it's change a lot. So sometimes, yes, we can choose two kites. And same. board? You use always the same or what? And or board, or same. Is some difference it's in board? same board. If you use for strong wind, you use shorter board. If it's uh, low wind, mm -hmm. bigger board. Low wind, bigger board. Why? Because it also depends your weight. Because imagine if you are like 100 kilo mm -hmm. big guy. Yeah, let's so say 100. Yes, you so we need really big, uh, big board to keep you on the surface. Keep right? on the surface. If it's the smallest one, so you can go faster. Mm. But if it's low wind, you go lower. So you need yeah the big surface. Mm. And the board interesting i always curious you know for all these things like when you don't know nothing and you just just see yeah how it? people are riding yeah. yeah easy and right now <laughs> and it's change uh, equipment we have hydrofoil wings when you stand so it's a wing uh you can make it lift with that wing and just fly you cut water because for example if you go we call 20 boards you go on the edge we mm -hmm. have fins sometimes four sometimes people yeah. use like uh, six four uh, schools for example but normally we, we have four fins mm -hmm. and you go to the edge on the board so all pressure go on your back feet all your pressure mm -hmm. and you go on the edge if you use hydrofoil the foil you get lift you oh. fly like with plane we have that is wing. it hard to keep a balance 
Yeah, it's really on, on hard. It's really hard to keep balance. So if you want to learn, so you need to have a foil. strong core, kind of. Yeah, you just need to have that or, feeling. Or it strengthens core. And you need time actually for that. So need, yeah, it's more like balance. Hmm. So it's good for how do you call it? skeleton muscles, yes. like these muscles inside. Yes, you know, yes, it's yes. Really but it's hard also to reach about the feeling. You just need a little bit time to feel that. Hmm. Sounds like not easy. Mm, it sounds not like easy, but you just need to push yourself. What is the too. learning time normally? Like For let's say if, 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 if I will start to learn today, how many weeks I need to be able to stand and enjoy a little bit? Well, everybody different, but like I say, I also push hard my students. Yeah, but try some... to explain. But normally it's around. I will say between 9 and 12 hours. If you want hmm. to start first right, you know, like 10, but 5 meters. But you split in what, in 2 hours lessons or 1 uh, hour lessons? It also depends school. Oh, my, yeah. In my school we do that 2 hours on the shore. Mm -hmm. We talk about the rules, mm -hmm. how to pump kite for example, how to care, how to... Yeah. Um, about safety rules two hours on the shore and the rest five hours we also can split if my student is tight we split in two days for example mm -hmm. and we do that on the water because in the water it's more safety okay and then it should be enough for to yeah. start so some some people you say just learn faster and some people slower <clears throat> and yes depends person but uh, is it a huge plus if you had some experience in other kind of sports i mean yes. do you learn faster yes. It depends sport. I every time ask my students before they come to my uh, uh, to my lesson. I mm. ask about the uh, different like sport. Maybe a training like martial arts, bicycle. Mm -hmm. Most of the people drive bicycle, for example. For them, it's, it's Denmark, you know. Yes, it's, it's Denmark. Normal. So for them, it's keep the balance, no problem. For example, yeah, bicycles very good. At yeah, most of the people balance. also snowboarding or ski, for example. Also, that? Yeah, it helps, but we have different kind of technique. Mm -hmm. If you go from the mountains, you go to the left, to the right, on the edge. It's mm -hmm. also a similar okay. technique in kite surfing. Wow. But sometimes people go down with the snowboard from the hill, for yes. example, from the mountains. Yes. We don't go that direction. We you go, go that downwind, up. yes. So no. we have different okay. little bit technique. If you are uh, if you have experience with wakeboarder, wake, uh, wakeboard. Wakeboard. Yeah, where, so it's a cable park. For example, you go to the uh, we have it in Copenhagen area cable park. Uh huh. So you have line. Uh, you uh huh. Just so you can kind of train also for kite surfing. Yeah, you can, kind of. uh, yes, in Wake Park you can learn how to stand the board, for example, but you have same, um, you have um, tension on that line, so it's always pull you. Mm -hmm. In kite surfing, we are control kites, okay. so it's different. Okay. Makes sense. And if you want to supplement <coughs> your kite surfing, what is best to do? Cycling, gym, uh, swimming? Oh, by the way, do you need do you need to be able to swim? Yes, it's most important it's thing. Yes, yeah? you need you need to be able to swim because uh, actually we train in shallow water when it's mm -hmm. not deep. How deep? It can be like one, one and a half meter, really? for example. Yes. So, it's so not maybe it's deep. not necessary to, to be no, able to No, but anyway, when you learn kite surfing, you go alone, for example, to the deep water. Ah, okay. I not recommend to do that alone anyway, so it should be group people, like three, four, maybe more. But anyway, so you some, go, someone yes. needs to be like spotter. Yes, because if you go to the wave sport where it's deep water, mm -hmm. so you need, to, you need to be able to swim. I always okay. also recommend to wear a uh, vest. Yeah, because yeah, anyway you don't know what's happening to the uh, in, into the water. For example, you get injury or something, so yeah. you should be float. Okay. So which which sport is the best supplement for kiting? I mean, because you, 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 you cannot you I cannot, cannot be say, all the time yes, kiting, right? Yes, I, mean, I cannot say like it should be like football or basketball, something else. Mm -hmm. Any sport. Is any good. sport. Any sport. Yes. 
Okay. And you said you go, you are going sometimes to Africa somewhere. Yes, yeah, so or... Africa we organize Why? trip to Zanzibar. Why? Because in winter time it's really cold in Denmark. But you said if you have six millimeters, whatever. Yes, people enjoy that cold weather. But ah, okay. Yes, but not I, everyone. Yes, I more enjoy like uh, if outside 40, 35 degrees uh, weather and warm mm -hmm. like 28. In winter time it's, we have like two. Is it not too warm? No. no, it's not too warm. I mean, it's you're okay. sweating from kiting and when you sweat from temperature. No, 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 no. but we don't use wetsuits, so you have only board shorts, ah, knicker okay. on the top, that's Makes it. Sense. You don't need shoes or something else. Cool. And then Zanzibar is very windy? Or yeah. Uh, why? I mean, I, I don't... Why not Thailand depends. or some animal? Yeah, you can choose Thailand. Depends. Awesome. Yeah, depends. Uh, the wind condition in Zanzibar, it's more for beginner, it's really low wind. It's mm -hmm. between 6 meters, sometimes 10 meter, 12 meter per second. Oh. It's more for beginner, not for experience. And which countries are best known for kite surfing? I mean, do for you experience, have... For experience, guys. I will say in like general, that. In general, in general. We have actually a lot of good countries like Brazil, for example. Like, you know, uh, for uh, basketball is uh, USA, yes. Lithuania, for example. Yeah. Uh, for uh, handball, Denmark. Yeah. Uh, for uh, soccer or football, Germany. For kite surfing, which... Most of the people go to the Cape Town. Uh -huh. It's kind of Mecca. Yes, it's Mecca for big jump. So they organize also in mm -hmm. January, if I'm right, in January months, they organize a uh, big jump. So all pro riders, mm -hmm. they move to that country to make it biggest jump. Hmm. Nice. And you, you were also? Or, uh... No, I, I never been there, but I'm planning to go there because many people recommend one day just go there. Cool. And I wish you good luck and maybe yes. one day I will try as well. Yes. You need to do you need to try that. <laughs> Thanks. Open this gate.